Las Vegas. Again, it's a pleasure to introduce my next uh, chef guest, representing and cooking some of these wonderful products from Turkey, uh, Chef Daniel Stramp. Uh, chef Daniel, it really is an honor, it's a privilege for you to be here. Thank you, Chef. He's going to be uh, executing some of this wonderful fish from the Mediterranean, sea brain, Chef. How are we doing? Uh, I just want to first thank Chef Lucio for having me here, uh, and thank Agent and all the products that they supplied for today's event. Uh, today I'm going to be cooking uh, uh, King of the Sea uh, bass, a little bit of couscous, uh, some fresh cucumber, and some summer vegetables, finished with a nice herb salad. Very well, Chef. Uh, we're excited about this, so we're going to the action. All Thank right, you. Let's go. How are we doing, everybody? My name is Chef Daniel Stram, and today I'm going to be cooking for you a sea bass, also known as King of the Sea. So here we have our beautiful sea bass. The sea bass comes from Turkey. Sea bass is high in phosphorus. So when breaking down this fish, you kind of want to just come underneath its gills first. And this fish still has its guts in it too, so we're gonna have to cut its belly out. All right, so now that we've cleaned our fish, we can just take our knife at the top of the spine here and just run your knife the whole way back to take your fillets off. Then you can flip the fish over and do the same thing on the other side. There you have your fillets. So now Turkey's known for a lot of its seafood, it's known for its sea bass, its sea bream, its trout, as well as its bluefin tuna. 75% of its tuna is all exported to Japan. Here, I'm just gonna clean off this belly meat. So now this bass does have bones in it, so we're gonna have to take these bones out. All right, so now we'll marinate and season this fish. We've got some beautiful olive oil. Now with seafood, typically I'll only season it with salt. I don't like to use pepper just so you can pull out all of its natural flavoring without adding anything to it. And now we can cook this fish. So when cooking fish, you wanna make sure that your pan is hot first before adding oil to it. That's gonna help the fish from sticking. And you wanna make sure that you heat up your oil until it's nice and hot before ever putting your fish in the pan. That's also gonna help the fish from sticking. And what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna make a nice couscous. It's gonna have a bunch of summer vegetables in it. So once I get this fish going, we can start on the couscous. Now that our oil is getting hot, we can put our fish in there. Now the thing with bass is it wants to curl as soon as it hits the water. So if you kind of hold onto it, or if you score the skin, it won't wanna curl up on you. Now we're just gonna cook that on a low to medium heat for about four to five minutes on its skin side only. For our couscous, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of diced tomato. 
and cucumber. We're not necessarily cooking things here, we're just kind of warming them up. The couscous we pre-cooked, and that way it could just be added in. Now we can add a little bit of pine nuts in here. So with the fish, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the white to slowly start coming up the sides and for the, the top to slowly start cooking before I ever flip this fish. I really try to cook my proteins about 85% on one side before ever turning them. That's gonna help also get nice crispy skin on this fish. So now we can mix a small little herb salad to go on the top as a garnish. We have some parsley, some fresh basil here. A little bit of chives. And some fresh mint. And what I'm gonna do with this is just a little bit of lemon juice and olive oil, just keep it very simple. We can come back to our fish over here. You can see that most of the top is already now starting to cook, so we can get ready to flip it. And then we get nice crispy skin. Now typically here, if we were French, we would throw in a bunch of butter and baste this, but you know, we're going for a little bit more healthy cuisine here, especially with this beautiful Mediterranean fish. All right, so now, now we can start plating. So we've got our couscous, it's got a little bit of fresh tomato in there, some cucumber and Kalamata olives. It's gonna bring you nice freshness, crispness, as well as a little bit of brininess from those olives. You get a little bit of crunch and toast from the pine nuts being in there. We have our fish. So this is our fresh salad that we just mixed up with the fresh herbs, uh, parsley, basil, chives, and a little bit of mint. And then I also have a little bit of uh, roasted red pepper sauce here that we threw some walnuts into as well. A little bit of fresh lemon zest. And then we'll finish it with just a little bit of olive oil. And there's our sea bass. Vegas. Again, here we are with uh, our next uh, guest chef on the, this Mediterranean cooking uh, chef Daniel Stramp, I mean, it's a pleasure, it's an honor to really have Chef uh, in this event. Uh, as you see, he's prepared this wonderful dish. Uh, we have, uh, I, well, I'm gonna have uh, Chef, actually, Daniel explain the dish. It looks wonderful. Can't wait to try. I mean, this is what we call the Mediterranean 
way of cooking. This is the way it, uh, the world is going, eating healthy food, and uh, try to, of course, live a little longer. Chef Daniel, it's an honor, it's a pleasure, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Tell it's us a, a little bit about the dish. So for my, my dish today, I started with uh, sea bass. Uh, sea bass from the Mediterranean is very high in phosphorus. I could have chose the sea brim as well today, but I decided to go with the sea bass instead because it was something I was a little bit more familiar with. Uh, so with the sea bass, I decided to take a little bit of uh, Middle Eastern couscous and just cook that up with some fresh tomatoes and cucumbers, very summer vegetables, and then add a little bit of uh, Kalamata olives in there for a little bit of brininess. We cooked that, finished it with a little bit of pine nuts to add some nuttiness to it, and then finished the top with a nice herb salad with some fresh citrus and olive oil as well from the Mediterranean uh, middle, uh, turkey. This looks, looks awesome, so Thank let's, you, chef. Uh, let's dig in and uh, we're gonna try this wonderful dish. All right, I've got uh, a, a spoon for you. So and I've got a knife here. Very nice, that. really nice, this is good, yeah. Outstanding, outstanding. Look, and this is how you actually present in some of your restaurants? Exactly, yes, Chef. You know, chef is always cooking for many celebrities. Uh, right hand for Wolcom Pack and many others. Uh, and really, it is an honor to be associated with you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, it's my pleasure to be here right, and an honor as well. Let's dig in. Uh, sorry for those in the camera. You can, you can look, we'll tell you the, definitely the final, the final dish. This is nice and crunchy. I mean, I like how you cook the skin too, which is, that's what I do with my fish, you know. Make sure the, the skin becomes my potato chip. The skin's also where a lot of the fatty acids and stuff like omega. that live too, the omega, omega. acids and... Mm. Excellent. That's pretty good, Excellent. huh? Very, very good. This is what you see on, uh, in the Mediterranean cooking, uh, healthy food, something that uh, now the new generation of millennials are looking into. Uh, obviously, uh, everybody's trying to have uh, a healthy retirement. And this is so good because uh, if, if you want to really you know, try to uh, eliminate uh, in the near future when you get older, fall into Alzheimer and uh, dementia, you need to actually uh, eat this food. I mean, the olive oils and the vegetables and uh, the fish from the Mediterranean, this is outstanding. Thank you, Chef. Very Glad well. you enjoy, Chef. Thank you. Very good.